Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing Byzantium, and our font is freaking huge. Here in the open Nervous Palace 4. We are at war with that, which is a lot. They have a lot of units, but we have more. Uh, the thing is, we're not committing as many troops to the war as they are, but that's okay. Our, our units are way more awesome than theirs. I don't know how else to say it. Our units are just better than theirs, right? So I have no problem fighting this war uh, outnumbered like this. So bring them all in. Where are you going? New mission? Grand Fleet? No, I don't like those missions. Sorry. I know we're at war. I know we have revolts. I know we're blockaded. I know our units have casualties. I know we have claims. I know we can build shit. Go away. I know it can be to come to the end of the faith. And I know we have a truce that's going away. And I don't like those missions. I know there's disputed succession. There. Okay, fine. There's only two things to look at now. Great. And it's pretty much the same thing. Both of these do the same thing, but whatever. They take you to the same window. He's got a hundred thousand guys here. That's gotta just be eating up his his uh, maintenance. Or his manpower. Yeah, look at that. He has zero manpower. Zero. None. Zip zilch nada. We have three hundred and fifty thousand. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Joe? You little bastard. So, what I'm thinking is we can go to Gauda with one army, let him just fight us there, and then we'll bring in two more armies. Alright? You have a good general? Yeah, 443, that'll do. Looks like he wants to play. Alright, he is committed. I like it. Ugh. My stupid vassal is not going to help me. Look at him, he's like, uh, no, I don't want to go, no, 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 I don't want to fight that. Uh, we're rolling zeros, that's a good start. <laughs> he's got a 303, so our generals are way better, and we have way better units, so I'm not too worried about it, but come on, you stupid vassal, what the fuck is wrong with you? This war is to get you land, and you're like, no, I don't want to. So this is good for us, I'm just going to destroy this stack here, well... Pretty much. I mean, he can't really replace any units unless he buys mercenaries. But even then, it's not going to be very good. We're still rolling zeros. That that, that bothers me. 443 general and we're still rolling zeros. It shouldn't really be happening. Oh well. At least not that frequently, right? Shouldn't get so many zeros. Okay, you guys can stay back, but we'll take these two to Dadaka. I think he's just going to go ahead and just retreat all the way home, though. So we'll bring these guys back. Keep an eye out for um, John Porfell. But actually, yeah, just go there. Keep an eye out for the Mongol army. Who knows where they're going. And we should... We're going to get a diplomat back real soon here. I just want to see if we can start piecing some of these clowns out. Because the only people I really want to keep the war with is Joe. And they're the ones who have no manpower. So I would, yeah, they're just going to keep retreating. It's fine. I don't know how far they're going to go. They don't, they probably don't even know how far they're going to go. They're just going to keep running. They're going to go all the way back to God knows where. The capital, maybe. They're actually going into Pegulands. A rockin'. Alright, I'll fall into a rockin'. I don't mind getting some attrition in their lands. Whatever. Where the hell are they going? Do they even know where they're going? They're running to Adrawadi. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to put both these guys on fast march. See if we can't catch up to them. Because they may stop there. No, they're still forced retreating. Uh, who knows where they're going to go. That's the problem. The Shattered Treats, they don't tell you where they're going anymore. So it's like, whatever. He's still going. Okay. Wait. 
We actually got there first. Where is he retreating to? He might be going all the way down here to Parak. It's very possible. Nope, he's going this way. Interesting. Okay. They're all going the same way. All these armies are going the same way. The problem is now he's going to be getting a bunch of morale back. And we're not going to get any morale back because um, we're on forced march. Oh, that's it. He was just going to Ayatthaya. All right, that's fine. Slaughter them all. This guy is a 5-3 general. He's pretty good. Yeah, we're holding them off pretty well. But now the problem is he's going to retreat all the way to God knows where. You know, At least this was pretty close. And yeah, now he's going to Korat. And then from Korat, he could go... Well, all the way up to here, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I don't really want to follow him over there. <sighs> Korat. The end time. Oh, he actually is splitting up his armies a little bit. Interesting. So you're running that way. Why don't you go to Korat, then? No, I should turn off Forced March if I can. Can I turn off Forced March, please? Why is it so difficult to turn Forced March on and off? I don't know. There we go. Where does he go after Korat? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, he's just going to stand in Korat. Nice. Kill them all. This is good. It's good war sport for us, right? Now I really don't know where he's going to go. He could go anywhere. Wenshin, yeah. I really don't want to follow him over there because he's going to get morale back the whole way over there. So don't don't bother. Just come on home to... Er, go to Central Dobe. Central Dobe. And uh, why don't you do the same? Let's go... Well, this guy may not retreat very far. He only retreated one province last time. He may be like just out of gas. Ready to die, right? Just gonna throw in the towel. Nah, he's retreating. Never mind. He's still retreating. Go back here. That's fine. And I know the Mongols are gonna come back at some point here, so. God damn it, Bohemia. Stop joining France in wars. You don't want to be there, buddy. I know you don't. Nobody wants to be France's buddy. Except us. I'll be your buddy, France. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how much war score we're gonna need to get this shit. I mean, it's not like it's super valuable or anything, but it is on their home continent, so they'll value it decently. Uh, yeah, I just don't know. Most of our war scores come from battles so far. No one has won over eighty percent of the battles. Really? Pretty sure I've won a lot of battles. Oh, well, whatever. I haven't won over 80%. Now have I? Nope. No one has won over 80%. Well, poop. <laughs> the money just says 10k. <laughs> Doesn't even show you the full amount anymore. They're like, well, we're out of, no we're out of room. Gonna go stand around here and see what they do. Most likely they're just gonna give in. Once we get over 50%, they should take whatever demands we have, assuming the demands are reasonable. Yeah, they're already offering peace. Let's go take a look at what they want. Uh, seed Ode. No, that's not good enough for me, bro. All he wants to do is give up one territory? No. What about Pegu? Do we have any war score on you? No. Uh, Mongols? So we don't get any war score for beating their armies. You just don't get any. 
That all goes to the war leader. None of it goes to the the secondary people in the war. It's unfortunate, but whatever. Okay, we're starting to get some more. That's good. Come over here. I'll move you guys up to Oot Song or whatever it's pronounced. already maxed out the war score we can get from battles directly, but we can hit that modifier, uh, or that target, I should say. We can hit that target of 80% of the battles, and then we'll start getting trickling war score coming our way. Uh, I can't really see how many battles there are, but we don't have 80% of them, apparently. Uh, our navy could go out and try again, but probably be a bad idea. I don't really care about the, the naval battles. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. I don't even know where their armies are. They're, they're just going to have to come at me again. They're going to have to like follow me around somewhere if we can actually get that 80%. Otherwise, it could be a long wait. Pagu will eventually just want to get out of the war because they were pretty close, right? No, they're not. Now they're actually decently close. We should be getting our... I'll oh, put the speed back up. What am I doing? We should be getting our manpower back now. Yeah, we get 4,000 a month. That's awesome. All right, so here come the Mongols. This is good, right? They're going to calm. They're going that way? Are you guys in some other war that I don't know of? No. I don't have any vassals over here or anything? No. Well, then why are you going to calm? I don't know. Shit. Let's go stand over here in Sagang. See what they do. Oh, there you go. 11 dudes. Alright, let's go beat their ass. Trap them like that. Yeah. He wants peace again, but he's going to get off me a shitty peace. Oh, here we go. He's bringing everyone to Utsang. Alright, forced march, go. Forced march, go. Everyone to Utsang. Uh, we can come in this way from Bhutan. Yep. That'll work. Forced march. Can we catch him? Nope. There we go. Now we got him. And he's still going to Utsang. Alright, when's he going to arrive? On the 10th of August. So we have another month. Okay. Well, I don't want to get there too quickly, but I think we'll be okay. Ooh, I don't know. Um, no, he's going to be too quick. It's okay. Just go stand in Kathmandu. He'll still come fight. To be sure. Nope. He changed his fucking mind. Damn it. Crap. Alright, well... Can I pause? Thank you. Damn it, everyone's going over there. Go this way. Don't stand on that same tile, you idiot. Motherfucker. Okay, they're dead. Go to Bhutan. Looks like he does want to come to Utsang. I'll let him attack. Now he's going to catch in. Alright. I can't turn the stupid... Oh my god, the forced march thing is fucked up again. I hate that shit. Stop fucking up. Stop it. Seriously, stop fucking up forced march. That is a pain in the dick. Oh wow, that's the last five provinces that need converting. It's amazing. So is that enough for the ticking war score? Nope, not enough for ticking war score. Damn it. How to win 80%. I don't know why we don't have 80%, but we don't. Uh, go to Dhaka, go to Koch. Actually, we'll just stay here. We'll let them We'll let them come to us, right? They're forced marching all over the place. They'd be badass. He's gonna chill there, okay? Well, let's go kick your ass. 
dumbass. Oh, I don't even have to. My vassal's already doing it. Go, vassal. Alright, he's already retreating. God damn it. Here, put on forced march and go stomp that guy. Forced march and go stomp. Um, actually, that might be good if he went that direction. Uh, and you can go this direction, right? Yes, perfect. I approve of this plan and or strategy. Can we please catch them? It looks like uh, they're going to run to Saigang. Uh, we might catch them, maybe. Yeah, we caught them. Good. So, here we go. There's no penalty in this area. It's just all grassland. This is fantastic. And uh, we are heavily outnumbered, but that will change. We have more dudes coming. And I can get... Okay, you can just stay here. <laughs> you don't need to go over there, really. Watch the battle. They're losing tons of dudes. We're not going to get any war score out of this at all. We've already maxed out our battle war score. However, we might be able to uh, get that modifier. Nope. Still can't get the modifier. And they're just going to retreat to God knows where. Alright, everyone go home. Oh, there's another army over here. Yay. Okay, go to um, Jarkand and Gauda and Delta. Turn off Forced March. Turn off. Oh, I can't turn it off. Stupid bug. You have to select a different army and then turn it off. And then select a different army again. And then turn it off again. Such a pain in the dick. Oh, I can't even do it on the second army? It's just bugged? Okay, fine. It's just bugged. It's just bugged. Hiya. Bugs in my game? It's more likely than you think. Can't turn it off. Now we can turn it off. Thank goodness. This motherfucker is actually gonna chill around here. Good. Now he's coming back already. Yeah. Fuck yeah. He's already coming back. Look at this shit. We're gonna go fight him, <laughs> like, right now. Cool. And he's dead. Now do we get the modifier? Nope. Still haven't won enough battles. Come on. Well, do you guys want out yet? No. No, you're close, though. No. Close. Alright, well, whatever. Actually, 16th of February. Can I get there? Yes. Kill them. And go back. You guys. Forced March, go. Forced March, go. We're going to try to trap them in Lower Dobe if we can. Converting people like a boss. I was actually trying to retreat somewhere else now. But he's not going to make it. We're not going to make it. No, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it anymore. <laughs> Kill them all. I'm not even gonna bring the second army. We don't need it. We don't need it. Hopefully, I can chase him around a bit. But I think he's just gonna retreat to you know wherever. He's going to Jarkin. Oh, he's going down there. Yeah, but he's gonna retreat to the east. I just I can feel it. Coming in the air tonight. The motherfuckers are back again. Yeah, he's gonna retreat right through me like I'm not. He's gonna retreat through my army and he's gonna go through my own territory and through another army like we're not even there. It's like we're not there at all. Stupid sexy flanders. Can go kill the rebels, please, and then come back. You don't need to force march to kill rebels, really. Good force march bullshit being broken. Nope, oh, my vassal apparently wants to fight and wants to lose. Oh my god, vassal. You're you're the reason why we're not winning this war right. Well, why we don't have that modifier, you stupid vassal. 
Can I get you out of the war? Because that'll be nice. No, but... No. Shoot. God damn it, you dumb vassal. We can't get there in time, can we? Nope. Damn it, vassal. Hate you so much sometimes. So, yeah, there goes that. We're not even going to be anywhere near... We have to win... For each one that my vassal loses, we have to win four. If we want to keep 80%, right? So there's two. Turn off my thing. Go home. Stupid vassal. Stupid vassal. Bad vassal. Mm. Bad vassal. Ah, we can just white piece out Pegu. Cool. Length of war, right? Oh, military strength. Plus 40. Wow. They have no army left. Okay. And you guys? Sure. Okay, everyone wants peace now. Good. That means... Oh, we're not even at 50% on Joe. Really? Well, whatever. <sighs> Do we now have taking war score? No. Damn it. Stupid vassal. Stupid bullshit. I'm not going to invade them. I'm just not going to invade. This is dumb. I'm stubborn now. So I hope everything that we want is cheap. Okay. Diplomat's coming home. Let's take a look what's available. Probably not much. I want these two for myself, and I want you to give these to my vassal. Yes, please. And, uh, no, not Korea. These two. Oh, he will. He'll do everything I want. Alright. Uh, what about giving more away? Give some to whoever. I really don't care about those, though. Yeah, that'll do. That's all I want. Okay. I approve of this strategy. Can I get rid of your relationship with the Mongols and Pegu? Yes. Can I take some money? You have a relationship with, with Russia? Wow. And France? No. Ah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And now, we've taken everything we want from Arissa. We can start the annexation of them, and Awesome as well. Except we might not have, we might not have had Awesome long enough. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's going to be two more years for Awesome. Uh, that's okay, though, because we have to get relations up anyway. And uh, we got, yeah, we can just start, we can start Arissa whenever. So let's do that. No, oh, no diplomats, right. Might as well do them at the same time, though. Right? And these suckers, I think we'll sell them. Gain a traitor? I don't know if I want to gain a traitor. Doesn't sound like something I want to gain. There you go. Would you like... Province. Yes, you would. I approve. Would you like a province? Oh, someone died. Damn it. National tax, revolt risk, or inflation reduction. Do we have any inflation? A little bit. 
Wow, even with fully funded military, we're making 100 ducats a turn. Um, I don't really care about any of these guys. We'll go for the National Tax Guy just because he's probably going to give us the most benefit. Three ducats a month for a, probably a pretty big bonus. Mmm. Yeah, she said your bonus was pretty big. Well, when can we start on you? Six years. I don't know if I want to wait six years, though. <sighs> well, why don't we end this episode here? Had a good time so far. Uh, I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time, where we will hopefully get the vassalization of Palatsk going. And also start the annexation of Awesome and Orissa. And maybe, if we're lucky, we might be able to get Barar and Vaginagar at the same time. See you then. Have a good day.